Is it time for first start? I hope so. So today we're going to attempt to do the whole first start. Uh, over the last couple days, weeks, I've been wrapping up little stuff like wiring. Uh, we've got a temporary map line run here. This is, will be replaced with a nicer one, but that's what we had in the shop. Everything's wired in, wideband is wired in. Let me show you the inside here. So we've got a Beer Money Motorsports Russ EFI uh, ECU. It runs on Tuner Studio, uh, which I'm working on right now. Everything is wired in. It uses the center port as an options port here, which is actually really cool. So everything is wired correctly into there. The shifter's in. Uh, fuel filter's been changed. There's a, there's a gallon of gas in it right now. Everything is good to go. Uh, I temporarily have Dylan's exhaust on it, just so that we don't like get kicked out. But I am working with... Uh, Jesse, I'm working with Jesse Hooven. I hope I got that right. Uh, from Beer Money Motorsports to get everything updated and get the ECU talking to my laptop. Uh, it's a little different than a stand, like the mega square stuff that I'm used to. So he's gonna remote in in a minute here, and then uh, he's gonna get it all set up for me. We'll load the base map that he made yesterday, and then hopefully it fires up. So he knows everything that we've done to this. So he's already set the base map, hopefully to match. Uh, there's gonna be a couple tweaks at the trigger wheel. And other than that, there's no reason it shouldn't start. I don't know, we're gonna have the fire extinguisher on hand just in case, but uh, once this starts and we get everything kind of running okay, that's pretty much gonna be the end of that for the shop. So for those of you guys that don't know, it is the middle of April right now and we have three weeks left to finish this car, Dylan's car, which you haven't seen the engine stuff yet, Cam's car and Everett's car, my car is gone. Uh, luckily, they're all very close to being done and worst case, they will all be rollers by the end of the day so we can wheel them out and you know finish them at our own houses. Uh, so it's crunch time. I wanna get this running so I can just check it off the list. The rest of the stuff is like cosmetic and uh, you know wrap it do that kind of stuff. We got a sweet seat here, which is a couch cushion. Uh, we do have a lead on a seat, it's just not here yet. So we're gonna make do, but I'm gonna cut to us doing some team viewer stuff and we'll get hopefully the ball rolling here. So we sorted some issues out. Had to pop the ECU cover off and kind of reboot it, but everything seems to be going well. Jesse's setting everything. He's probably asking me to hit full throttle right now. Oh, look at that. So I'm gonna hold full throttle. There you go. So we're gonna go through and work through the rest of these settings and then uh, crank it over, make sure the trigger stuff is right and hopefully start it soon. So what is this? <laughs> so we are <coughs> choking on some pretzels. So we're pretty much ready to try and crank it and see if it starts. Uh, this trigger wheel setup is new for Jesse and the, the Russ EFI so it might not start, but it might fire right up. So we'll see. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna need that jumper box. Okay. Take two, three two. with the jumper pack. <laughs> no, no, let me try put my front clutch. I think it's cool. After much trigger wheeling, it almost tried to start, so we're gonna see if it starts. Closer. Oh, 
Yeah! <laughs> oh no! Ready? We put a cam in that thing? <laughs> it's got a hog and fucking cam in it. She lopey. Hey guys, so end of day one, end of Saturday for us. Uh, that's kind of as far as we got. We spent literally like six hours with Jesse on TeamViewer, remoting into the computer, changing things, trying things, changing things, trying things. And we got really close. Uh, the car starts and idles as you saw, but it leans out. It runs like 18 to one pretty much immediately. Uh, nothing we're really doing is helping. So he thinks the injectors are bad. We're running RX-8 yellows, which if you know anything about uh, cheap me out of injector upgrades, those are literally the worst. So because this is a stock setup, we're actually just gonna, I'm gonna go grab some one six injectors from our buddy Andrew tomorrow morning, uh, swap them out and we're gonna try again. Uh, hopefully that fixes it. Maybe we just uh, dump more fuel in it and see what's going on. But the wide band is brand new. So we don't think it's that. And the what's on the gauge agrees with what's in the ECU. So not really sure what's going on, but we did figure out a bunch of issues today. So killer, killer progress. And my goal for today was to get the car started. It does, it does not leak anything, which is astounding to me. Uh, I have horrendous rear main seal lock, but yeah. So big, big check off for the day or for the weekend or even for the build actually. It starts up uh, and when it is idling, it idles nice. Even with those, uh, AWR 95 durometer engine mounts. It definitely shakes a lot of things and we're gonna find some loose bolts, but episode's not over. We're gonna pick you guys up tomorrow when I am swapping in the other injectors. Hopefully see if it idles and revs up and runs not 18 to one AFR. So either way, big progress. I am super pumped. It's been a long day. Uh, yeah, so see you guys in the morning. It is Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m. It's been a long day uh, between not only this car, but Dylan's and Cam's car. Uh, just trying to wrap up some progress, making some parts, which you can find on our website. Stupid issue. So, little backstory. Switched the injectors out this morning. So we had RX-8 yellows, which they're like the cheap option for injectors. Uh, and they're really bad. They're not a good option. So. We switched those out for some 1.6 injectors from our buddy Edgecomb uh, down the street. Literally just yanked them out this morning. So uh, swat, switched those out. Uh, and then just to be sure, we switched the fuel pumps out with, I just had a unit on the shelf. So switch out the fuel pump. This has been replaced. Uh, turns out the O-ring on the neck of the fuel pump was bad. So it's possible we were just pumping fuel back into the uh, tank instead of actually getting sucked up through the feed. It was enough to start it, but that's why it would kick to lean. So did that. Uh, we switched to AFR sensors. We've got an AEM wideband set up with uh, just run down into the exhaust and it's possible it's brand new, but it was possible it was bad. So I grabbed Dylan's, threw it in there. Same results again. So like I was kind of at my wits end. Uh, and then I sent Jesse a video. Big shout out to Jesse from Beer Money Motorsports. I sent him a video and he's like, why is it reading 19 volts? Because that's way more than, you know, standard Miata voltage is like 14, I think. 14 to 15 volts is kind of standard. So turns out the problem the whole time was uh, up here. When you do a VVT swap, you need to use an alternator from a, an NA8, I believe. I'll confirm that. Uh, not an NB because the NB regulators are not, or sorry, the NB alternators don't have a voltage regulator. So they send all of the voltage and expect the ECU to tell them, to, to tell it to tune down to 14. So it was sending 19 volts, the ECU was not correcting anything. So that makes all sorts of, all sorts of things go haywire. Uh, Jesse saw it and he's like, hey, just unplug your alternator and try it out. So we unplug the alternator and I'll show you what we're looking at. Let me make sure the battery's still in it. Yeah, so we got Dylan's battery in it. But we will key on. I gotta put a clutch delete in here. 
and that's it that was it idles perfectly so we are good to go still have to do a couple things like sync timing i don't know if you can hear me but it's definitely running real rich but yeah none of the the weird voltage spikes the uh afr gauge was bouncing from like 10 to 18 to 10 to 18 and all of that uh caused by the alternator so this runs uh, i gotta sync timing and pretty much set it on the ground so uh for the time being at the shop, this is probably uh, the end of the track car build series, except for next weekend, we gotta install one more part just for safety. Uh, once we're out of the shop in May, we'll pick it back up, we'll wrap it, we'll do all that sort of stuff, but it's crunch time on the other cars, so we're gonna put this to bed. Technically, I could drive it onto a trailer right now, so we'd be good to go. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. You know the deal, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what else you want to see us do, and until then, I'll see you next weekend.